Hi. In the last two videos, on the one hand we considered orders of magnitude, and on the other, the disassociation of acids in water. In today's videos, we're going to combine the two concepts. Let's start with uh, acid dissociation in water. We learned last time that if we have an acid, HA, and uh, it reacts with water, it will, the acid will dissociate into A minus, and the proton that the HA lost will be picked up by the water, H3O plus, and we treated this with an ice table. I'll only give you the last line of the ice table, the E line or the equilibrium line, where the HA concentration is the initial acid concentration minus the amount reacted, and the amount of dissociated acid is X, and the amount of H3O plus is X, and we found out that last time these values are related by the equilibrium constant, the equilibrium constant, x squared uh, divided by ma minus x equals the equilibrium constant, e the acid equilibrium constant, and in the numerator are the products of the reaction, and in the denominator are the reactant concentrations. And we're going to look at two scenarios. In this, uh, in this video, we'll look at the, uh, the first scenario. We're going to look at the scenario where uh, Ka is much, much larger than Ma. And in that case, uh, if Ka is a big number, so this is a big number, and if that number is big, that means there are a lot of products. Uh, that's how you can get a big number. And if there's a lot of products, that means X itself will be large, because x squared is large, x is large, and the biggest x can get is if it uses up all the products, sorry, if it uses up all the reactants, and the initial amount of reactants is Ma, <coughs> so the biggest x can get is if x approaches Ma itself, it uses up everything that we started with. And now let's consider uh, uh, some, an example with some numbers. Let's consider uh, Ka is big number, 1.1 times 10 to the fifth. Ma is going to be a small number. We'll then make that 2.7 times 10 to the minus fourth. We're interested in orders of magnitude. The order of magnitude of Ka uh, is, since it's 1.1 times 10 to the fifth, is 5. And the order of magnitude of the uh, Ma, as it's 2.7 times 10 to the minus fourth, is minus 3.5. So much, much smaller. And in this scenario, therefore, we should have a lot of product. X should approach Ma, which means that we'll, we think that the order of magnitude of X will be the same as that of Ma, it's going to be minus three and a half. Uh, that means the order of magnitude of x squared, the squared's order of magnitude is almost the double of the order of magnitude of the original number, so it's minus seven, and we now have the following scenario. x squared divided by Ma minus x equals Ka, and we have the order of magnitude of x squared is minus 7. And we have the order of magnitude of Ka is a 5. And so then the question is, what is the order of magnitude of the denominator so that everything works out? And uh, if you uh, please pause the video, video and see if you uh, can figure out what the order of magnitude of the denominator is so that that equation works out. 
So if you got that the order of magnitude of the denominator was negative 12, you got the right answer. And the reason why is negative 12 plus 5. So when you take this number and combine it with this number, we add them together. Minus 12 plus 5 equals negative 7. And negative 7 is the number. So, the order of magnitude of the denominator is very, very tiny. Uh, it's much smaller, the minus 12 is much smaller than either the value of ma, which is minus 3 and a half, and x, which is minus 3 and a half. Uh, please pause the video and figure out what that means uh, for the value of x, uh, if, uh, if <clears throat> ma and x are so much bigger than the subtraction of the two. And uh, so the question is, what, what does it mean? It, it means if uh, ma minus x is minus 12 or minus 3 is around 1 billion times smaller. That means that x is the same value as ma almost to like a, a one part in billion, they are the same number. And the important thing is that ma is only known to two sig figs. So if they're close to within one billionth, one billionth of each other, and you only know ma to two sig figs, it has to be that x to two sig figs is ma. And therefore, x is 2.7 times 10 to the minus fourth. And so we see that in the scenario when ka is much, much larger than ma, we have the very great simplification of the original ice table uh, uh, equation is just that x equals ma. And that is true when ka is much, much larger than ma.